Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy finalizing our next optional bug fix updates for Windows 11. That's both versions, 22H2 and also the original release, version 21H2. And that's currently, those updates are being tested in the release preview channel before they roll out in the next week or two to the stable version. So today we are on the 14th and Microsoft said they will make the optional updates available in the fourth week of every month. So we can expect those next optional updates for Windows 11 to start rolling out the 25th of July. And that's the Tuesday of that week. And that's for July 2023. Now, just to go through what more or less we can expect, um, obviously this um, could be said to change. And with the Moment 3 update now that's been finalized and finished and has finally rolled out now, for Windows 11 22H2 with this month's Patch Tuesday security update. The updates now for Windows 11 for the bug fixes now are very similar. Give or take, they are addressing more or less the same things in both versions. And for Windows 11 uh, 22H2, the update is KB5028254. And if we just head over to Winver, which is about Windows, the current stable version's OS build is 2261.1992 and when this next optional bug fix update does roll out and you do decide to install it, that OS build will be bumped up to 2261.2066 or somewhere in that vicinity. And then for Windows 11 21H2, the update is KB5028245 and the OS build, if you do decide to install that on the original release, will be bumped up to 22,000.2243. Now, just to go through some of the bug fixes um, that are rolling out, because this is a bug fix non-security update, which does uh, bring improvements to both versions of Windows. And both versions do get one new feature. Now, it's a, not a really a front-facing feature, but I'm just going to mention it for the purpose of today's video. Both get an update that affects the handwriting software input panel the handwriting engine and the handwriting embedded inking control. They now support GB18030-2022 conformance level two, and they now meet the level three requirements. So that's a new minor under the hood, so to speak, feature rolling out for both Windows 11 versions, 22H2 and 21H2. Now, just to focus on the bug fixes, if you would be interested as to more or less what will roll out. And this is not the full list, but just some I just picked out randomly in case you would be interested. Now, the update addresses an issue in the Windows notification platform. The issue affects how much power your device uses. So that's a bit of a performance uh, boost for notifications in both uh, versions of Windows 11. And apparently there's an issue that affects hybrid joint devices. Apparently, you couldn't sign into them if they had they are not connected to the internet, and this occurs when you use a Windows Hello for Business pin or biometric credential, or biometric credentials as Microsoft calls it. And the update also addresses an issue that affects the Windows Management Instrumentation, that's WMI for short re repository. Apparently, the issue was causing an installation error, and the issue occurred when a device does and did not shut down properly. So that's been addressed. And the update also addresses an issue that affects certain CPUs. Apparently, there was an inconsistent reporting of the level 2 cache. And if we head over to the settings and we head to our display and our brightness, apparently the update makes brightness settings more accurate. So there has been a couple of issues with that, apparently. And now when you set your brightness According to the release notes, that will be now a little bit more accurate. And then there are two fixes rolling out for printers. The first is one that affects user mode printer drivers. Apparently, they were loading unexpectedly, and this occurred when you print from multiple print queues to the same printer driver. And then the uh, next regarding uh, printing is that there was an issue affecting a printing job. Apparently, an unexpected internet printing protocol mode switch can cause the print job to abruptly stop this apparently was occur occurring when there was an independent hardware vendor driver so that's two printing fixes that are rolling out and there seems to be numerous printing fixes that do roll out with all of these bug fix updates for windows 11 and also windows 10 from a month to month from a month to month basis and then um, the update addresses an issue that affects the defender firewall profile apparently 
uh, it was failing to automatically switch from a LAN to a trusted public network. So that's a bit of a security uh, and a privacy uh, increase and improvement rolling out for both versions of Windows 11. And then the update addresses an issue that affects certain display and audio devices. Apparently they were missing after your system resumed from sleep. And then for Windows 11 22H2, this doesn't apply to Windows 11 uh, 21H2. The update addresses an issue that affects widgets. Apparently um, they could unpin from the taskbar when you did not expect it and that applies to version 22H2 and then there's also one improvement just for 21H2 just um, worth mentioning for today's video for version 21H2 the update addresses an issue that might affect Win32 and Universal Windows Platform UWP apps they might close when devices enter modern standby and that's more or less what we can expect to see rolling out um, for both Windows 11 versions, 22H2 and 21H2. And those updates now are being tested and finalized in the release preview channel and should be rolling out over the next week or so. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.